very good evening everyone i am gaurav kumar jain and i welcome you to this beautiful channel named geeks for geeks school i would also like to welcome all the students who have joined in through my channel named gaurav kumar jain thank you very much first of all for joining me at this time and we are going to learn a very amazing app today uh, that's called the t-rex app it's a t-rex game it's a very beautiful game and i know you all must have played it uh, you know at some point of the time or the other besides that you know before diving in into the scratch platform i would like to tell you about uh, the course which geeks for geeks has come up with so it's a course which is based on app lab related to this course has given if you are not able to see it from here uh, you can just check out the description section where along with this uh, URL of the web page a promo code is also given using which you can avail a very good discount on the total fee of this course right then uh, when you will come on this page you you can get all the information related to this course we have come up with recently so in this course you we will teach you how can you develop mobile applications you will learn about the different components of ui ui for ui is for user interface then uh, we'll teach you how can you design ui for an app then you will learn how to make your app more interactive by adding code uh, by adding different codes to uh, the front end then uh, we will teach you how can you develop multi screen applications and there will be many more things in the course all right if you want to check out this syllabus uh, you can click on this tab present right in the bottom of this web page and you will be redirected on a pdf file in which you will see all the topics uh, that will be covered in this course right let me just show you that pdf file so this is the one so these are all the topics that will be covered in the course right so there are 18 different topics we will be covering and uh, you are going to go gain a very good experience we will be teaching you many more things in this course right and if you want to enjoy this course if you want to avail this course you are most welcome uh, to do that seats are limited let me tell you that so please book your seats as soon as possible please book your seat as soon as possible right so that you can enjoy this course enjoy this beautiful course and we have done a lot of uh, hard work on this course and don't worry you are going to gain a lot of things you are going to uh, get a very good knowledge uh, about app development once you uh, you know start once you'll start taking the classes in case you want to get in touch with one of our executives you can uh, dial the toll free number you can easily find it on the geeks for geeks main website right and if you want to avail some other course like you want to do python or java or any thing related to uh, that oops uh, object oriented programming language you're most welcome to contact us get in touch with us and we will uh, entertain you in the best possible way right so let's move on to the topic for which we all are here so today we guys will be developing a t-rex game right on t-rex like game on scratch so how to access the scratch platform you just have to put scratch online 3.0 like this and right on the top in this web on this web page you will be able to see the hyperlink uh, with which you can get yourself redirected to the online platform of scratch and uh, before starting with the project i would like to take, please like and share this video in your groups so that more and more students can come and join this tutorial and enjoy these free online coding classes we guys are providing on two channels uh, which is one is geeks for geeks school and the second one is gaurav kumar jain 
right and thanks thanks in advance for all the efforts for all the hard work uh, that you're doing and thanks for following us thanks for liking the video and thanks for sharing it okay so that's the scratch environment which is visible to you right now I don't want this sprite so I'm eliminating it for now so the first thing that I need is a very beautiful background for doing that for uh, getting it I'm going to make use of the sprites background backdrop library how to access that backdrop library we can come down over here and when you'll click on this backdrop option uh, it will redirect you to the library to the inbuilt library which is by default present on the scratch platform where you can find different kind of uh, backgrounds backdrops you can use for your game so from here which one can we use that's what I am searching for uh, I haven't made use of this one yet so let's use this urban I think it will it is going to give a good look to my project yes that's better that's looking great now we need a sprite uh, which we can move on this uh, playground so for doing that for defining a sprite we can come down over here and using this choose a sprite option we can get ourselves redirected to the sprites library of scratch now from here we are going to select uh, a relevant sprite let me just check out which one uh, can we select and based on the background you know I have to select the sprite based on the background it should look good on the background which I have defined how about this one no this one is not looking cool and this is also good but it's not low uh, it's not going to look good on the background which I have defined recently on the playground let me see if I can get uh, some more good image some more good sprites over here there are a lot of sprites I'm able to see over here in the sprites library of scratch and they all are amazing right No, not this one. It's not going to work. How about this wizard? No, wizard is not going to work. Uh, let me see if I can get something from the top. This one is looking good, but okay. I think this is going to work. Let's select this one. Okay, so uh, as you can see. The sprite is right now visible to us on the playground. Now if you want to change the size of this sprite, you can simply come down over here in this property section and you can uh, put a number smaller than 100. So let's go for 80. I think it will do. Now 80 is uh, how about 68. I think 68 is much better. Yes, it's looking better. Now we can Besides this, I need a coronavirus kind of thing. So let's do one thing. Let's come on google.com and search for a coronavirus image. So for doing that, we can put something like this coronavirus clip part. And that's what it will redirect us to. So we need to come on this images section. And from here we can select the relevant image. I think this is going to look good. No, that's not the one. That's not the kind of image I'm looking for. Uh, how about this one? This one is looking good. And I think this one is going to look amazing on the uh, kind of background I have defined on the playground. Let's copy this image 
and I would like to first paste it on that paint softwares window and let's after that eliminate the white background which is currently visible to us over here okay now let me paste it over here and need to reduce the size of this window first yes better let's now uh, take out this part of this image and I would like to now sh reduce the size of this window that is great let's save it with a unique name on the desktop so I am saving it with this name virus and for removing the background we, we can make use of remove.bg website right you guys know it very well I know know that and I would like to see if I have anything to answer in the comment section if you have any queries let me know in the comment section please so it is remove.bg that we guys will be using for removing the background and making uh, the image defining a transparent background for this image now the students who are new and who do not know about the uh, this remove.bg site they can just see it now how it works and how can we remove the background okay so there's no question I'm able to see in the comments box I hope you guys are able to understand everything that is the reason till now there is uh, no question okay so now it's an image with a transparent background let me just save it with a unique name on the desktop so I'm saving it with virus virus 2 right and let's now come on this scratch platform and import that virus image over here so how can we do that we can simply come down and click on this choose a sprite option and that's sorry not the choose not choose a sprite option but uh, this one upload sprite option and it will redirect us to one of the location of our computer going to take some time but yes so that's the one which I just created let's hit this open button for importing it on this platform so the size of this image is a bit big right it's quite large as in comparison to this, this first sprite so let's reduce the size to 30 I think 30 is going to look good yes it is and I'm putting it over here perfectly fine okay so when the game will start, when the game will start, I would like to see uh, this girl over here at this position. So let's first select this girl's image and start defining the code which is required uh, for this first sprite we have defined on this playground. So we'll start with this very famous block when flag is clicked. So because it's an event driven, pro driven programming, you guys very well know about it so that's the reason I have defined this event so when this event will take place what should happen that's what we have to uh, define now so I would like to see this girl over here at this position how can we do that we can make use of this go to XY position right now suppose if the girl is somewhere uh, over here so when the user will restart the game she will come back at the position where the user has defined it initially okay so it will come back on its initial position 
okay now let's come on this control section and we need the forever loop for repeating the execution of uh, a set of statements that we will be defining now inside this forever block let's go with this if control statement first now when the spacebar key will be pressed what should happen so I would like this girl to jump how can we make her jump now that's what we have to think but first of all we need to drop this key space pressed over here uh, inside this if control statement so when the spacebar key will be pressed now let's make this game first interactive so I would like to add a sound to this we can make use of this start sound block right and then we need to come on this motion section because we want to we want to see this girl jumping right so it has to go uh, till one point in the upward direction and after that it should return uh, back you know it should start coming back and as soon as it touches the point where she is standing right now uh, it should stop at that point now that's what the that's what the code uh, for this we have to define the code now so the best way is uh, we can make use of this gliding block we can put it over here and after 0.4 second I would like to see it you know in just 0.4 second I would like to see it reaching to uh, I hope this much height is perfectly fine so let's make it minus 169 because we want to see it going upwards not downwards that is the reason minus 169 over here and here we have to define a positive value because I want to see it going upwards right similarly we can just copy this whole code and uh, put it over here now after 0.2 second what should happen so minus 169 and what is the initial position let me just check the initial position is it is okay minus just a second uh, the initial position of this sprite is minus 180 minus 98 okay so I think this one should be minus 180 and here it can be 10 let me just see first what is the output we will get with the help of the code which I have defined till now over here so I have started the game and if I will press the spacebar key I am able to see it going up but it is not coming down I need to uh, it need to it needs to come back also right so we need to add this block also over here I want to see it coming back and it should again come to the initial position so that's how I think we can do it now if you'll hit the spacebar key so that's what that's how we can make this girl jump again and again and again and again right and as you can see you know the Y position over here is changing as it is going upwards and while it is uh, this girl is coming downwards this Y position is the only thing which is getting affected the movement is taking place along y axis y axis only right the movement is not taking place along x axis so that is the reason the value of x is not changing so uh, let me just see if i have any queries to answer before moving to the next part and downwards this y position okay so komal pande hello dear i hope you are enjoying this lecture Thank you very much first of all for joining me at this time and uh, please be there till the end of this lecture in case you come across any issue you guys can let me know about the same. Uh, put your issues in the comment section so that I can check it out and reply to all your queries. Hello Panemayam, Siluai, what you are not able to see here everything is properly visible can you please let me know what uh, is the exact thing uh, you are not able to see because the window is very much clear right okay let's move to the next step now you know 
if this uh, if this girl at any point of time will touch this corona virus what should happen so let's define a code which can keep a check on the collision part for that what we can do we can simply come on this control section and we guys can make use of this if control statement right and here we need to come down in the sensing part and let's make use of this touching block so if the girl touches this coronavirus at any point of time then everything should stop how can we stop all everything by using this block we can put it over here inside this if control statement which will help us in stopping everything whatever is there on this playground right now okay now let's uh, so that's the code which you can define for this girl right now i would like to define some more code for this girl but first of all we have to think about what exactly we want this girl to do for us right so we are able to now make her jump right we are able to uh, make her jump what else we would like her to do for us now that's what is the question so let's do one thing for that for the second uh, part we can make use of this forever loop let's first place this forever loop over here now if suppose the user will not hit this space bar key then what should happen let me just show you first the costumes all the costumes which are there for this girl uh, in this costume section with us so we need to come on this costume section first this is the costume section so if i will change the costume see if i will change the costume you can see the girl moving right we are able to see the girl moving so now if while the game is running if i want to say see the same view if i want to see this girl moving while the game is on so we need to change we need to define a code with the help of which we can change the costumes right we can change the costumes again and again that's what the code that's what is the thing which can help us in uh, you know just a second i think that will help us in uh, just give me a short moment yeah now it is fine so that's what is the thing that's what is the code which will give us which will uh, with which we can see this girl moving right now that is the code which we need to define now over here inside this forever block so what we can do we can simply make use of this if control statement we can place it over here first right and then we can use this not operator which you can easily find in this operator section i'm putting it over here and let's come on the sensing block sensing section and i don't want to use this i want to use the space bar key pressed yeah so if the space bar key will not be pressed then what should happen so uh, what should happen switch to costume switch where is that switch to costume here yeah, this is the one so switch costume to so the first costume that should be visible to the user uh, should be walking a then after some time it should not be more than 0.1 or 0.2 second okay because i don't want to see it moving i don't want to see this girl moving slowly i want to see it moving uh you know like the way we see in the gif images or movies in the same way i want to see this girl also uh moving so for doing that see if you'll put a wait of 1 second or more definitely you will not get the correct output you will not get the desired output But however if you'll put us let me just do one thing let me show you how what is going to happen if i'll put a wait of 1 second fine and after that i'm going to make the required changes so i'm copying this whole thing and putting it over here again and after one second the costume should change to b then after that the costume should change to c and after that the costume should change 
चेंज टू डी राइट लेट्स नाउ सी इफ आई रन दिस गेम वॉट विल है So we'll see the costume changing, but just a second, we're not able to see it changing. I think we haven't uh, defined that when flag is clicked block for this forever loop. That is the reason we are not able to see this girl moving. We need to link this when flag is clicked with everything over here. We have defined. I think now we'll be able to see the output. Okay, let's hit this flag button. We are able to see this girl moving, but you know the costumes, the time is, uh, the costumes are changing after one second, right? So that's the reason uh, the kind of output we are getting is not proper. If you want to see, if you want to get a proper output, what you can do, you can reduce the time to minus. Point, uh, I think one three is going to be a good option. Let's see what is going to happen if I'll define point one three over here. It should be point one three because I want to see a flawless uh, moving, a flawless movement like this. See, so. If you'll reduce the time, definitely you will get this kind of output, which you are able to see right now on your screens. Okay, so we are done with defining the whole code which we require uh, for this girl sprite. Now we have to define the code for the virus sprite that we have placed over here at this point. So for that, we need to first come select this virus. Okay, the coronavirus, and then we can come up over here. Let's make use of this when the flag is clicked block. Right now, uh, before defining the code, let me just declare a variable also. So that's the option we can use for creating a new variable. So score is the name of the variable. Score is the name I'm giving to this variable. Okay, done with that. So I would like to first set the value of score equal to zero. That's how we can do it, right? And uh, now, uh, because I want to see this uh, coronavirus in the beginning, over here also, over here at this point. So we can simply make use of this go to x y block, and we can place it over here. Now let's come on this control section and let's make use of this forever block, and I'm putting it over here. So I would like to now. Uh, uh, whatever code now i would i would like to now define a code uh, which i would like this platform to execute forever till the time is in running mode so the first thing i would like to do is i would like to uh, put a weight of i think 0.18 second will be a good option yeah then we can i would like to create clones of this virus sprite how can we create the clones now that's what we have to see we can come down over here in this event section and here you'll find where is that clone option i'm not able to see it over here when this sprite is clicked loudness receive okay this is the one sorry you can find it in the control section not in the event section okay you can put it over here like this so a clone of this virus is going to get created now when the clone will be created what should happen so we need to first put this block over here when i start as a clone then at that time what should happen i would i want to see it uh, coming from i want to see it moving from this point to this point i want to see it gliding from this point to this point right uh, it should appear to the user as if it is coming towards this uh, girl so the best thing we can use for getting that kind of output is this gliding block we can place it over here let me just change it to uh, i think one second also is a good option but one is going to be a very 
you know it will move very fast if we'll uh, define one over here but no problem we'll make the changes afterwards let's see what is this one uh, going to give us as a result so I would like to see it coming towards this girl and let's define some value over here and for this y point also I think minus 150 is going to be a good option yes so once it reaches at this point what should happen first of all I would like to show you uh, if I will run this code then what is the output we will get so now that's what the output you will get but one second as I've told you is very less so let's make it two second I think two second is going to be a good option let me see what is the output we'll get with the help of this uh, with the with this two seconds perfectly fine it's perfect right it's perfect the speed is perfect with which uh, you know the virus is now moving towards the girl now after that what we can do we can come on this control section and let's make use of this delete this clone because I don't want to see uh, more than one clone coming towards the girl just a second yeah now it is perfectly fine I think let me just run it one more time okay no problem we'll fix it we'll fix the error don't worry okay now uh, let's add this when the flag is clicked over here so when the flag will be clicked what should happen let's add this forever block with this when the uh, flag is clicked and then I would like to I would like this virus to turn with some degrees because I want to see it rotating okay so that's why I'm adding this code over here I'm adding this uh, block over here and let's put a weight also inside this forever loop so that we can get the actual uh, you know output which we want to we can uh, get the actual you know thing that we want to see over here on this playground okay now let's define let's see what is what are we going to get uh, from this code which I have defined over here so I need to run this game again okay so I am able to see the output like this now the viruses are coming that is great absolutely perfect okay now when I start as a clone again I have to make use of this block I'm putting it over here now what should happen we need to copy this entire code and I need to place it inside this when I start as a clone now let's see what is going to happen okay so we are able to see all the sprites now rotating they are now looking amazing isn't it so you know that's how you can uh, make the sprites move from one point to the other point now before we move to the next step let me see if I have any queries to answer in the comment section and if you have any queries related to the previous lectures also you guys are most welcome to put the same in the comment box so that I can check them and I can resolve all your issues whatever you have in uh, you know whatever you came across earlier and thank you very much first of all for liking this video for sharing uh, the videos in your groups so who all have joined in on my channel Carl Gamer uh, you, s you seems to be a big fan of gaming right okay then who else is there Hanush Dara hello dear Nikunj Deshwal thank you very much yes I hit 2000 subscribers today I have completed 4 lakh hours watch time that's great I I didn't check that dear thank you very much for informing that okay you're asking me that whether I've completed 4 lakh watch time or not no I think I haven't uh, yet completed the 4 lakh uh, 4 lakh hours watch time but definitely very soon with the help of your support 
uh, I will be able to achieve the heights and achieve what I have in my mind okay so Prabodh Sina hello dear I hope you are enjoying this lecture I am explaining everything if you are not able to understand anything please let me know in the comment box you have to put your queries in the comment box then only I'll be able to answer those queries fine whatever I am defining over here you know whatever codes I've defined over here till now if you uh, don't know about any block which I've used till now so what you can do you can refer to the previous videos which I have posted on this channel Is there any other issue? Is there any other thing you want to ask from me? If there is any, please do put it in the comment box. Right? Okay. Let's again come over here right on the top. So uh, we have defined this uh, variable for keeping a check on the score part. Now how the score will increment? That's what we have to see. So what we can do we can every time this uh, sprite you know this uh, corona sprite will reach at this point minus 237 minus 150 so at that time the score should increment it should change by one now that's how we can code the score part right let's now see how can how this go, game is going to look on a bigger window so i am hitting this go button fine just give me a short moment let me see uh, why i'm able to why do these clones are not getting deleted I've, uh, written this delete this clone over here now why is it not deleting the clone that's what we have to see if i'll change this one so it is 0 0.01 right now that is perfectly fine Okay, forever create clones. So after point, after every point one eight seconds, this a clone will be will get created. So if I'll increase the time over here, then what will happen? Let's check it out. So if after every two seconds, I would like this code to create a new clone for me. So let's see what is the kind of output we are going to get. So let's hit this go button first. So right now if there is only one clone okay i think now we are getting the correct output perfect this score is also incrementing see how beautiful the game is looking perfect right so that's how you can develop this beautiful t-rex kind of game It's looking amazing and I'm really enjoying it. Right, and the score is 5, is uh, all the things now over here have stopped moving just because this girl over here just touched that virus. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this one a lot. Let me, before ending this lecture, show you the entire code I have defined for the girl in the, this virus over here. So that's the code which I have defined for this girl. Let me increase the size of this window so that the code can be more visible to every one of you. So that's the code for this girl, right? And this is the second part of the code. Okay. And now let's come on this viruses code. So that's the first part. That's the second part. That's the third part and that's the fourth part. Right? 
Okay, now before ending this lecture, I would like to again tell you about this amazing course which Geeks for Geeks has come up with. For finding out the link of the web page on which the course details are given, you can check, you can uh, visit the description section. You can find the link of this web page over there. Uh, there, you can find a promo code also over there in the description section using which you are going to get a very good discount on the total course fee. Okay, so once you're there on this web page, you can check out the syllabus and everything, whatever you will be taught in this course. Uh, so you can come on this tab, click on this, and it will you will be redirected on a PDF file where uh, in which you will see all the topics that will be covered in this course written. Fine, let me just show you the entire PDF file, what all things we will be covering in this uh, course. So we have done a lot of hard work on this course and don't worry, you will not regret uh, right for anything. So that's the these are the course details. So we have this introduction to apps and exploring apps, exploring input and output in apps, then introduction to designing of applications where you will be taught how can you design the user interface, you know, uh, you know UI of the app. Then uh, introduction to programming then debugging the code how can you debug the code how can you play with the variables explore the variables right so these are some of the apps that you will be creating in the course that you will create in the course and investigating variables then practicing variables right so all these things you will be taught in the course and you are going to enjoy it a lot Okay, and if you want to get some more information, your parents can coordinate with Geeks for Geeks uh, team. Uh, you can find the toll free number of the company on the uh, main website of Geeks for Geeks. Right, and if you want to uh, know more about this course, you can tell us uh, the same. You can let us know about the same in the comment section. Put your queries in the comment section related to the course or any other course which you really want to pursue. We are into Python also, we are into Java, we are into every single uh, field related to coding, related to designing, related to the computers. As simple as that. If you want to, if even if you want to learn artificial intelligence or machine learning things, we are there for you guys. And this course is very affordable, right? So go ahead, avail this course. If you want to avail some other course, definitely we are the one who will give you the best thing. Right? Okay, so thank you very much for joining me in this lecture. Keep liking, keep sharing and keep promoting our channel so that uh, in this journey that we are currently, we have started. Okay? So thank you very much and God bless you all. Have a great day. Have a great future. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Bye-bye.